Hi, I'm Brent Middleton and this is 2010 Hot Tuna Challenge update and we're one week out preparing the cars for the test by Motor Magazine and I've got an opportunity here to show you one of the three cars that we're submitting this year which is an 08, 09, 010 Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Now this particular car is a project car that we've used for quite a few years with Whiteline and we've made it one final decision to do a massive upgrade to it to really show what can be achieved with an incredibly well prepared car with a reasonably good budget. And this particular car is what we call Project 300, meaning because the target kilowatt figure is 300 kilowatts. So of course being White Line's car and MRT's package, it's got everything that you can throw at it from a suspension point of view and of course heaps of grunt from a performance point of view to care of you know who us here at MRT. So what I want to show you here in the next 10 minutes is just quickly a snapshot of all the parts that are in the car and then towards the end of the video a bit of dyno data, some videos, some dyno graphs and a summary of the whole thing and then um, there will be another video separately with the results after the test. So particularly the first obviously XB kit package with complete exhaust system and um, all the required parts down underneath, quad outlet rear mufflers. Um, in the back of the car it comes with special limited edition MRT white line rear sh coilover shocks which are independently adjustable. Now um, one of our technicians at the moment is replacing the rear arms for the upper control arm on the rear suspension to make it adjustable because when you lower the rear end of an SDI you get camber problems and there's a limit to how much you can adjust. You'll notice it's also got the rear toe adjuster for the rear end, uh, rear subframe bush kit, um, the diff bush kit in the back, of course um, rear adjustable sway bar with heavy duty mounts and the stabilising bracket that comes part of the kit. Of course adjustable rear sway bar with heavy duty links. Moving forward we decided in the car to put a um, centre muffler to just drop a little bit of noise down but of course up in here you can see it's got the positive shift kit bushes to reduce the movement of the gearbox on the um, subframe mount. Um, lower bracing to stabilise the inner pickups of the suspension because of the amount of grunt this car is going to have we want to have maximum stiffness in the lower half of the chassis to get the suspension to handle as best as possible. Um, we've just fitted the new um, anti-lift kit bushes. Now these ones are a, a heim joint so they're not a true road type bush they're a more a spherical type joint. The upgraded white line lower stiffening braces to maximise the stiffness again of the lower arm strengthened inner bushes here to again reduce the movement of the factory bush and of course from underneath you can see the underside of the engine from a performance point of view with the extractors for our big upgrade engine. So that's the bottom end of the car from a performance point of view. Of course there's the upgrade of brakes, DBA 5000 series rotors, MRT race pads, Elf racing, uh, DOT 5 brake fluid, you name it have a look at the download list with the full spec list of the car to give you an idea of exactly what's in the package that you can choose from for your car. And what we'll do now is we'll go up top and have a look at the business end of the performance power output. Obviously with the right handling and best handling Subaru STI in the world you need the most power from a reliable package point of view and this particular engine is a very unique one. It's got just about everything that we can do to it to deliver reliability and incredible bottom end drivability and good strong power targeting around 300 kilowatts. Um, you'll notice some small things we've fitted as the like, STI radiator cap in both places to maximise the cooling efficiency of the engine to reduce the risk of it blowing off at a lower pressure because the radiator caps on the STI ones are 1.3 bar which is a little bit higher than the factory standard one. Um, upgraded top mount intercooler which is dramatically bigger than the STI one. Now that doesn't add huge improvements, it's all these little bits that add up over a period of time. The STI factory standard top mount intercooler is incredibly good intercooler to start with as well. Um, this one is a GFB response 
plumb back blow off valve. Now you notice it's a little bit different because it's got a um, different top on it. Now this is a custom modified one that we're doing in collaboration with GFB. It's also, the car's got big flowed heads, um, big ports, big valves, forged pistons, modified crankshaft, you name it, it's got it. Obviously coupled with a factory ECU upgraded using Ecutec tuning technology to maximise the performance because remembering this particular model has also got a variable inlet and exhaust cams as well which are all fully adjustable through the ECU and if you come around this side with my trusty cameraman you'll notice if you look carefully down in here um, is the modified turbo as well. Now the turbo to get the maximum performance out of this car is critical as well and it's particularly difficult to fit because of the positioning of the electronic throttle control and also the oil drain and oil feed lines. This is a big horsepower Garrett roller bearing turbo fitted in the original factory position with of course the MRT splitter dump pipe off the back of the turbo. Um, you'll notice even little things like big high flow air intake but you'll notice the car still runs original factory standard air box so we get the positive intake pressure when the car is driven on the road to give maximum delivery of air to the air box obviously again it's those little differences that make the end result so much more sweeter when the car is performing at its best another small thing the cars had fitted is an STI front spoiler and obviously uh, Motec center diff controller which allows us to adjust the electronic center diff through obviously programmable laptop ECU. So there you have it, Project 300 for Hot Tuna Challenge 2010. Complete package of parts, incredible value for what we've achieved and obviously our big hope is we're going to achieve a fantastic result at the end. For more information, um, look forward to helping you. Oh, and we'll show you the dyno graphs um, look forward to helping you in the future. Facebook, Flickr, YouTube, the MRT website and um, hopefully wherever you are in the world this information has been of value for your Subaru. I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.